Welcome back everybody. This young male leopard has come from inside the bush and come back out again and is lying very close to his monitor lizard and I think the female. And uh, you can just see this you can just see this leopard is lying in attendance with this thing. I think it went after the easier went after the easier prey and uh, and is now just lying up well after the easier prey in terms of the rabbit that it chased and missed but now Hello and welcome everybody to this live broadcast from Juma Private Game Reserve here in the Kruger National Park. This young male leopard has been hunting uh, just next to our cars between 16 and 18 months old, just missed a rabbit and now has started to hunt a monitor lizard. That is a monitor lizard and although it doesn't look like much it's one of the largest lizards that we find in this area my name is Stefan Winterbur and we've been following this young male leopard since he was born basically and it's just such a pleasure to sit so close to this leopard in the open like we are and bring it to you live uh, all the way from the Kruger National Park in South Africa don't forget you can or you can like he's interested in killing it but these Lizards definitely don't go down without a fight, as you can see. Tail curled for a whip-like motion. And they're lying down. Isn't that amazing? Now, these leopards are so relaxed with us because we don't... Oh, look at this. Let's see. These leopards are so relaxed with us because pretty much since they were born, we've had a very uniform... Uh, we've had a very, very uh, standardized approach with how we, uh, we deal with these cats and we're always very respectful about their space. Now, Pippa Moorman, all the way from Hootsprate in South Africa, has just said, hello, hello, Pippa. Good to see you, or good to hear from you. Now, what this young male leopard is doing is stretching out the tendons in the claws. It's as much a display of its insecurity as anything else. I think that this lizard is giving this leopard pause for concern. These lizards bite incredibly hard. They've also got raking claws that can do some damage. However, I don't think it would do much damage to this particular, this particular cat at all. And now just leaving it in actual fact and walking away. I'll tell you. They have larger brains than what lion do in a cat that's about a quarter of the size and that leads them to have characters and they develop characters as they get a little bit older, personalities, they learn from experiences and um, why this leopard just missed and left this monitor lizard, who knows, search of easier prey perhaps. What are you looking at now? Something else is Fad, you just asked what leopard this is. This is a Hosanna. Uh, Hosanna is a about an 18 month year old leopard, or 18 month leopard. Um, I was born right here, Juma Private Game Reserve. And we've been following the life of this cat whenever we can see them. Newly independent, uh, been on his own now for a couple of months. And he's quite capable of killing animals right up to the size of Impala all on his own, the moment something has his attention. Now, being, let's call it sub-adult, although he is independent, means that they have quite short attention spans and things like movement in these thickets will definitely grab this leopard's attention. And you can just see how wonderful that camouflage is. At the moment, the only thing that you can really see is the flicker of the tail. And that is standing in open bush. There's only two, two scraggly little branches between us and, 
and that leopard and already the edges of that cat blend in so well with the bush uh, behind it. This is our dry season in the Kruger National Park. Oh, there's something walking there. That is a great day cat. It's an antelope right in the prey size. We're going to see a live hunt, everybody. This is a hunt. What are you doing, youngster? You're of course going to go out of our view right now. Here we go, up on the side of a termite mound. Going to use the cover on top of the bush. What are you going to do? Stalking. They ambush specialists, getting within five to ten meters of prey before pouncing. Let's see what's going to happen right now. We can't move from where we are. This bush is too thick for us to get through. We're going to have to just take it as it comes now and hopefully lady luck smiles on us and we can see most of this hunt. It's this leopard using the cover that it has and has just disappeared over the side of that term up by now. I'm going to use my ears now and hopefully we can hear the kill taking place and we can get into that tight bush to see. Here we go, out the back, I can just see his head sticking out the side. Look how low they can go. Dead quiet, but that flicker of the tail, that, that is quite often what spoils a hunt. A young leopard, tail flicking and agitation and just that lack of confidence. They'll learn how to become deathly quiet. Okay, watch that tail, there he goes. Are we gonna see the sprint? Oh, hidden behind the bush, no! <laughs> I can just see the coat moving there. Are we gonna listen now? Let's see if we can hear a kill take place. We're not gonna go crashing through there, we might disturb that particular hunt and what we don't want to do is steal food from a young male leopard they need every protein calorie that they can get isn't this exciting waiting now in anticipation waiting see if we can hear the rush of the body the takedown and unfortunately the death cry of their prey So are we. Leopard will very often stalk to a very short distance. They'll use whatever cover they can and then they'll crouch down and wait for the prey to come to them. Run after it of a very, there we go, there we go, coming towards us. So I just watched the little Daco run away. It has escaped. So no dinner that easy for this leopard. I have a feeling this leopard's gonna come straight back to us and carry on looking after his monitor lizard. Let's see what happens. All right, and that is over for that particular hunt. So from